But 13 minutes, 16 seconds into this game, and wow, GG Netta. Look, like, I, th I think they'll be pr like be very, very happy that this is a best of two right now, um, which, which it is. The, as I said uh, early on, early on this cast, the Gosu Cup is now in the group stages. They have to play through that, so it's best of two. All the teams have to play each other in their groups, and the teams with the highest points, or the two highest teams, uh, move forward into the next round. So, uh, well, they're going to at least try and uh, get this back if they can. If they can, if that Morphling can get back on top of this game. But, yeah, that SA, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting very, very worried for GG Net again. Oh, look at even the wave! Kurokai actually gets stunned! Just short of actually getting into line on the top. And now SA is up there. He is ready to fight. No, he's not. It's just the illusions. I'm completely confused. Um, <laughs> Lion, Lion, that was a beautiful, beautiful stun. And because you had the beautiful advantage, you can actually like listen to me call that one and then know exactly where to look to actually watch it. <laughs> ah, snap. <laughs> It's like a bit of a mid-push now coming out. Wish Dodge is going to allow off the bouncy stun, not before ES lets off the fissure. Lightning bolt, chain lightning, ultimate as well. Try and bring down Wish Dodge, who brought him down to 74 HP during that one. SA is TPing in, the holding silencer in place. Look for the blinking cloud, not coming in yet. Scotchuros looks like they'll be allowed to fall back right now. Um, ES is hanging around, lightning impel goes off. ES fissure actually claiming the um, invisible SA right now, who lets off a cloud for no particular reason, but does... Stop nothing. Um, but now, yes, the Scourge are ready to push through that midside. And uh, Morphling's going to come in from the high ground. SA is going to see him, though. SA is literally on top of Morphling, who waves him behind. See him will die. Chain Lightning goes off. This is the group battle we're waiting for. The Nether Wall drops off, so Morphling now to Crepify, stuck on top of the tower. Kurokai has managed to actually bring down Pugna, though. And um, we will see the Scourge establish a nice little foothold here, right in front of the Tier 2 tower in the middle lane. But, uh, yeah, Sentinel. Come on, guys. You've been having a fantastic game so far. <laughs> I think what you said might actually come true. Couple of ulties, couple of, couple of burst damages, couple of silences, and then literally uh, steamrolling over that mid lane. Yeah, if they've got their abilities ready, they're in a pretty good position right now. But this, what the Sentinel need to do is to work around it. If, if the five heroes pushing together on the Scourge side, it still doesn't mean that they can't take the fight, they just need to do it in the correct way. If they can get that stealth assassin in, that's why he's such a brilliant hero. If he can sit up on that silencer, uh, so he can't get the global off, and they then get a good engage from Lion, they can actually just roll as much over the Scourge as the other way around. Mm -hmm. Just also want to state the fact that Kurokai is now up to 4,000 gold in the bank account. He hasn't bought anything since he first died off the top lane, so he's still got the, um, the trades as well as the Wraith Bands and Wand. Um, as, and has used the Healing Slav. Um, but he's got 4k gold currently on top of him. This is 6.69c. Um, so they actually don't have no cooldown on the buyback, which has actually been implemented in the new version, which I'm really looking forward to seeing that being implemented later on here in the Gosu Cup, as well as in all the new leagues. Um, but it's 7-2 seven, seven into it. But he's got a lot, a lot of money to actually spend right now. Mid just being pushed yeah, we'll down. We'll see what he'll use it on. Tower should actually Probably, die here. I think a Lincoln Sphere would be a good choice here. Playing against that line, who's really dangerous to him. Uh, <laughs> Lincoln Sphere and then the Ethereal Blade. The classic build right Cheeky now. Cheeky deny. Bottom, bottom lane. Bottom lane. Chain Lightning. Can they actually see him right now? No, they can't. Bouncing insta instant stun as well. Comes right over the top. Holding them in place. And Pugna blasting from behind there. The Nether War is actually up. So if anyone casts a spell, they get blasted from that one. Um, they bring down the Nether Ward so they can actually fight themselves down that bottom lane. But that was actually great positioning by Pugna to bring them down. Warlock did drop the oldie in an attempt to actually get a kill on that bottom lane, but didn't actually come off with the goods. And uh, Scourge find themselves waiting, wasting an Infernal, as um, well as actually losing a fair amount of HP from this one. And it looks like the Sentinel side want to make the most of it. Could they actually catch this retreating Warlock? Or will... Nah, we've got a replicate coming in. Um, they will probably jump on that one, then realize it's not real, and uh, buys the Warlock the time to actually get himself back from, from that bottom lane in safety. But uh, still, Sentinel did manage to split up the Scourge just then. Yeah, and it's, it's what they need to do. The Scourge's combo is not that dangerous if it's not very well timed. If they're split out, the Shaker is not going to be able to hit many with the stun. Uh, Zeus ult is, for very obvious reasons, going to hit everybody. <laughs> Um, the Ghost Scepter coming out of Kuroki is interesting to get this already. Um, very surprised to see him going for an instant Ethereal Blade if that's what he chooses to do. Right now that Ghost Scepter does nothing for him but give the stats. I mean, if he procs that one, in comes the burst damage from all the Sentinel heroes and he's done. 
Uh, of course, they've got Decrevify along with that, so don't actually even need him to use the Ghost Scepter. Yeah, we've got our own natural Decrevify. Um, <laughs> But still, yeah, the, the, the Sentinel hero so far so good in the fights, and uh, the Scourge hero is just getting more and more farm, and that means the Sentinel need to see the chance of making a go pretty soon. Stealth Assassin just fantastic for picking those fights when the heroes of the Scourge are spread out. They won't stand a chance when they're not together. And uh, when Rikimaru realizes that and starts opening some fights together with that Lion, together with that Vent, uh, Witch Doctor, sorry, they're going to be able to get a lot of cheap kills. Mm -hmm. uh, but so far he's just farming, and it's not a battle he's going to win with two farming heroes on the Scourge. I want to put out an interesting point right now. As far as ward count goes on the map, there are three wards up, and every one belongs to DS Line. It belongs to the Crystal Maiden right now. As I say that, I actually see a, uh, a ward up there by Miracle, um, just watching that top rune uh, and transition on, across the top part of the mid. Um, but as far as map vision goes, Sentinel started trying to stay on top of it. In fact, like, I know you mentioned it very, very early on um, about actually controlling, but this is... The Sentinel side, i got to say, I think they've done the homework. They're, pl they're playing their cards right. They're playing a very, very smart game of Dota. Um, unconventional, most definitely. Blink on line two, I just noticed that one. Um, but a, a bit of an unconventional pick with SA, but it just seems to be working for them at the moment. And uh, he has actually, um, Kurukai has actually completed that blade too, so... Uh, 19 minutes and 40 seconds into it, and uh, our Ethereal Blade, which is what makes a shotgun morphling, or at least part of it, is, is actually now up. What I actually fear for Kurokai, however, is that he'll be clouded, and uh, he won't be able to do anything about it at the time. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's actually going happen to happen to him. Um, oh, we got an ES there. So Dust is just, is just around. They want to try and gank down the Tricky Maru. But it looks like they're ready for it. The Sentinel side, there's three support heroes ready on that bottom line, almost using Ricky as bait right now. Uh, until they start attacking themselves through the trees and reveal themselves, that probably wasn't part of the plan. Um, Pugna running in on Invis will definitely be part of their plan uh, to see if they can catch anybody off. But it looks like uh, GG Net will fall themselves back here from that bottom line. Wish Doctor goes out first, but uh, no one, no one's going to be silly enough to actually take that bait. Uh, and that mechanism on Pugna could also be the, the key item for the Sentinel right now against that burst AOE damage. Oh, Kurokai! What are you Perfect. doing, son? He gets hacked, he gets done, he gets done, and oh, he is actually dead! It wasn't even time to go. A replicate the cloud went over, over on the top of him, and Kurokai was out by himself. He. Uh, did he just think they didn't have that much time to stun him or had that much DPS that he'd actually have time to wave himself out? Um, he, it just looked like he walked into that one. Yeah, maybe he had some plan of baiting it with uh, replicating up strength and then moving in. And then before he got the replicate on... Uh, not replicating, what am I talking about? <laughs> morphing it up. Uh, but before he started morphing it up, he got hexed. Oh, uh, but hexed from Lion, Owner's on a rampage. He's got one. He's going to go for two. Asen's on the retreat. There's a two. ES only tries to help him out, but the mech actually pops off at that time. You were so right. They're going to look for a triple. Owner is literally carving through GG Net. He claimed, doesn't actually claim Puppy, it was Pugna to claim the life of, of uh, Puppy just then. And uh, T2 Tower has gone down. They'll push this bottom out. And um, wow. 11 to 2 here in the first game, and um, we are now going to see the tier 3 tower being pressured pretty hard. Looks like the top tier 3 tower is being pressured as well on the Sentinel side, so the wave has actually pushed itself through right now. Probably a bit of helping hand, and uh, now GGNet will try and make the most of this one. Ethereal Blade actually pops off, tries to bring down Pugna, waves over the top, will be able to not actually kill Ricky Maru, sorry, was the one they actually went for. They're escaping out, the heels have popped off, and uh, Sentinel team are managing to escape right now. Somehow, TB's out, Ricky Maru's gonna go, the rest of the team are playing conga line past the Roshan pit, but 8-2, eight to, eight to uh, 11-2 so far in this game, 22, min and 22 minutes and 22 seconds into it, and um, wow, GG Net just literally got denied. Yeah, this is a good chance for the Sentinel with those cooldowns used. The Warlock ulti was used, Sue's ulti was used, not sure if the Global was used along with that. But still, having those two ultis out of the fight, I think the Sentinel can just jump in and take this battle. If they open up on, the, on, on that Shaker, what crowd control have the Scourge got? What disables do they have? I have no answers for you. I wonder if GGNet can actually provide some. <laughs> Through actions. Yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, the, now the farming game itself is also evening out a bit more. Pogna got back really big time in this game, getting that mechanism. 
He's up to 70 CS, 100 on Rikimaru, and uh, Kuroki and Pike had both uh, well over the 100, but still, considering the tower scores, uh, which are actually even. Hmm. Tower scores are even, that's surprising. But considering the, the kill score, at least, and how much this Sentinel have pushed, the, their CS are worth more than the Scourges right now. And, and uh, until PyCat gets that Hex up, I see nothing stopping the Rikimaru. Yeah, this is... We need more stats, too, on Morphling. Like, this is a reason why, even, even with the Ethereal Blade, you don't go this first. Actually, he's gonna go! Oh, prove me wrong! <laughs> SA gets pawned in the middle lane. I'm thinking, you know what? With an ethereal blade like that, you can't get a kill unless you got stats on the back of it. Nah, nah, Kurokai. Thank you very much, dude. Edge Mercator for the night. <laughs> yeah, but worth noticing is he used everything he had, and he just managed to pick off a half HP stealth ass assassin with it. So the damage is not that dangerous when you've got a mechanism in that fight. Mm. And, uh,. Just as much stealth assassin, perhaps staying a little bit far in front. He's standing in the middle of the middle lane. A lot of heroes missing, and uh, that's a little bit dangerous, right? Yeah. And if if he keeps making mistakes like that, that's a really quick comeback for GGNet. Morphling ending a mega kill streak here. That's not going to be good for the Sentinel team. No, it's it's definitely not what they wanted, but especially on the back of Morphling too. Now has 1,700 gold on top of his normal kitty, and um, make that 1,800 gold with the kill of the glaive thrower. It's yeah, it's going to get nasty. It looks like Warlock is uh, 400 gold away from completing his own mech to give the Scourge some sort of like state of building in this game. Lion, Lion, Kurokai gets caught out. One hit, SA blinks in. There goes the Impel. Kurokai should die from this one. The Yes Fissure does pop off and uh, he tries to blade the Lion. Um, does not come off with the goods there. And uh, that's an interesting Fissure to actually drop. That blocked any, any way of actually getting yourself... Um, Get, get it, like walking his way out of that one. I'm guessing that he just let um, Puppy said, you know what, the only way you'll survive by this one is waving over this one. If you can't do that, then you're dead anyway. And then he got caught inside the uh, silence cloud of SA. Got himself caught, and it's now 12 to 3. And that, that's, this is exactly what I was, was talking about with Stealth Assassin, you saw. Morphling, he's standing in the river at a seemingly not too problematic place. And then all of a sudden he dies from full HP. Only Rikimaru and Lion did that. And mm -hmm. those are the cheap kills they can pick up if, uh, if, if GGNet are not going together. Especially if Shaker is not there. Ricky just picks a target of his choice. At least until Sansa has his Ginsu's. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose the top tier one tower very, very fast. <laughs> Look at Ona. The amount of damage just slashes out of that is so unbelievable. Um, Looks like uh, mid lane, a uh, bit of a uh, push here from the Scourge. They might just want to try and claim this tier 2 and then just fall themselves back right now. Silence are tanking that tower while there is a creep waves there. Pugna TP's in. Decrepify and Azen gets blasted over the top. He just lost a third of his HP and uh, cannot afford to die right now or else his mech gets pushed back even further. Line now blinks in and he gets a triple stun plus the bounce going off the back of it. Azen is already dead right now. Claim another one. Two of the Scourge. Silence are trying to get himself into the trees. ES pops off the ulti. The 